Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 10 of Anglo-Saxon Ascendance here in CK3, where last time we uh, continued expanding our foothold in Scandinavia, our second foothold in Scandinavia after our last one got taken from us, where we're attempting to control all of Denmark. Uh, we've also got a potential storyline developing here where we've not had a single son and uh, a daughter would be hard pressed to win the Anglo-Saxon elective. So I say we start this off here with a seduction scheme against our wife. <laughs> Hopefully that'll get us something, but we uh, really need to have a son just because there's such big malice for uh, female characters in the Anglo-Saxon elective. And besides that, we really just need to wait and uh, let our money come back in. My spy master left. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, because we did go into a bit of debt last time. Had some successive wars that, well, we won them, but um, they cost us a decent bit of money, which wasn't great. But I'd say things are looking pretty good here. Um, should face less resistance into our second expansion into Scandinavia. I can't afford to... Okay, my war horse died. That's very, very sad. Uh, we will, of course, have successive Norsemen invasions. That's just a fact of this game, is that every, like, five to ten years, we're going to have that happen, and we're just going to have to fight it off. Um, but I don't think any of these Scandinavian kingdoms can really resist me at this point. Treacherous villain, ambitious, fickle, and callous. Um, would make good use of a symbol from someone of my stature. I think she would. Never mind, she... Didn't like that, but that's fine. It's still 95% chance. Peasant Kingdom in the North is still doing pretty well. No longer ruled by a peasant, but, you know. You can't have things work out ideally all the time. Wow, max level intrigue education for my second born daughter here. Uh, she would be alright if she wasn't, you know, sinful isn't great. And she's definitely not going to be able to win an election. In fact, let's go take a look at it. My daughter's third in the voting. But we're also going to need to have a son and have him actually grow up to be an adult. Because if he's not an adult, that'll also be a pretty big malice to his uh, odds to win the election. Yeah, we pick up Marshall Perk. Um... Well, I should get on this, this left tree. You did increase some control in our counties. Um, well, she didn't like entertained. Would she? Yeah, okay, so she liked entertained. That's what I would have expected. Uh, I would have expected entertained to correlate with the decision I chose in the last event, but I guess not. What do we have here? Murder holes and priest holes. I don't want to be paranoid. I don't want to spend any money either, so. <laughs> Old court. I will pass right now because I don't have any money. In my experience, court just asked me to spend a lot of money. So I cannot be bothered. But yeah, we do need to get back toward Denmark to finish off the Duchy of Schleswig as soon as we're able to. I believe this is the heir to the Kingdom of Brittany. It is. Do we have a truce with Denmark? We do, for two more months. Won't be declaring war on them for a bit still because we're just getting out of debt. <laughs> uh, see, I believe there's internal war happening right now. Liberty war, that's fine, not my concern. That's an ally war. And my dog died. Okay, things are just getting worse and worse. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I thought things were starting to get better, but I guess not. Okay. Um, well, we probably want to cancel this scheme then. Because <laughs> I don't want to waste the seduction schemes. Uh, it's, it's one time to, well, you know. 
Let's see if we can't sway some electors. In the meantime, try to get them to vote for my candidate if we can. Can I use more people like you? Sure, welcome aboard. He's a good knight. Let's see. Who would make a good marriage? Anglo Saxon woman here? That'll do. And while we're at it, let's make sure all of our courtiers who need to be married off are. Yeah. <clears throat> we are involved in a couple of ally wars. It looks like one of them's going to lose and one of them's going to win. I believe this is Brittany's war. They're going to lose and. Lotharingius. Welcome back, Northmen. What are they going for this time? Mercia? Do they always go for Mercia? Because it feels like they do. Let's just wait and see where they're going to show up. No, I'll fight them. They really need to tone this down, by the way. It gets very annoying very fast. Uh, yeah, I'll compliment his unshakable faith in God. He is zealous, so... Go. Loses 500 gold, pays none of it to me. So that's great. Yeah, they, I hate that mechanic. It really needs, needs to get toned down. <laughs> I'm getting to be the eighth so hard right now. Okay, we'll go back and try that again. This isn't good. <coughs> this could end very poorly. Um, I guess we could really, you're raiding me. You're raiding me. You are raiding me. You are raiding me. Um, improved offense is the better one, but I'll just take the opinion with both of them. I don't really want either of those, either of those benefits right now. Okay, we had a knight get killed. That's great. There we go. Now I'm out of debt. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out of debt there, bud. We didn't get some Pope money. Chester Warhammer. Am I actually using that? I am not. A few weapons that I'm not using. Okay. So now we could probably... What, are, what, what would she like? Let's catch... I think that's... She'd like to catch people's attention or just things that glimmer. I just don't, I don't, not good at this one, I guess. Okay, let's, uh, create the Duchy of Schleswig. That'll go right over to this guy. And I think now, ooh, I was going to say now is as good a time as ever to go back toward Denmark, but it really isn't, is it? No, I guess it is, actually. They're always going to be a troublesome little people. Is the Holy Order hired? It is. He's going to hire his Holy Order for sure. Um, I don't know where they are. Like, I wish I could see if his Holy Order was hired. But I can't. Okay, that's... 
Because he has a holy order, which they do have the Yom's Viking somewhere. I don't know where. They do exist. If he does that, then that's no good. Why? I really need to be able to do that. <laughs> you, like, see their holy orders here? Wow, that is incredibly annoying. I would really like to be able to see the Asset True Holy Order that I know exists. But I can't. If I, like, find character... Uh, can I go, like, Yams Vikings? I don't... I know they exist, <laughs> but I don't know how to find them. Yeah, there they are, Yams Vikings. Okay, so the Holy Order is not that big. They're not hired at the moment, so we probably would call them in. They are Vikings, so they're going to be incredibly annoying. Like, I've got two stacks of Rangian veterans. I'm going to go for it. Sure, might as well fight it for my claims. Okay, he's gone in the Holy Order. So again, my Holy Order cannot be hired. Even if I had... Even if they weren't hired, I don't have the piety for it. But, so, let's get over here. Let's get strategist right now. That's immediately helpful. Okay, split me off a siege army. What's the supply here? 4495. Okay, supply in this province is just bad, so this army is just not going to be doing too hot for supply. Are they going to go for me right away? No. They go over here. Forest. It takes seven months. Okay. They're split up, though. That one's gonna take eight months. I can get onto that army. Merge them here. Make sure I'm in charge. Since they've split up their armies, we can do a lot of damage to this one before they can even get in to support it. There we go, there we go. So you see, we're doing the damage and they're coming in, and so, like, yeah, this is great. Did lose a knight there. Captured this guy, you know what we do with captured Vikings? Demand conversion, recruit, and become a monk. Okay, now we need to get over here. We don't want to be having to go across a straight. Antiquitarian died. We could call on a house member. He's not much help. We could call on the Queen of Brittany. She won't be much help either. Let's see, I wonder if there's a good alliance. We could ally the peasant kingdom in the north. Let's do that. I'm going to immediately call them in. He'll actually be a big help. But I've got the prestige for it. I'm not doing anything else with it. Supply here is 3437. Three, At least want my men in arms not to be starving. If the peasants in the siege army is, you know, it is what it is. But I can't have my men at arms I'm starving. So we have a three year old daughter here. She can be intrigue. Marshall can stay on organized levies for now since we're at war. Let's 
they're going back in on this province here. We've got six months, we've got three. Should be able to go beat them up again and then make a run for their capital. Oh, we allied the King of Sweden. Good thing the King of Sweden's fighting three wars already. So he won't be much help. Okay, they've made the same mistake again. <laughs> Where they've split up their armies and they've split them up like kind of far so I can just beat up this army and get a lot of damage in and then they yeah <laughs> another captured Viking demand conversion recruit and become a monk and now I guess we prepare to cross over into the Danish capital Oh, he died right after <laughs> we allied him. Well, I guess it's a good thing he's already in this war, huh? Um, now I have an alliance with the Count of Man. Let me also do what I was doing before and get back to swaying some electors. Yeah, I'm literally the only one voting for my candidate. <laughs> Right now. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Hell, what are the odds? Like, seriously, what are the odds here? <laughs> okay, well, I need to go for the next level. Three, eight, three, twelve. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Three, eight, twelve. Oh, we can actually catch this army. Liberty faction? Excuse me? That's rude. Peasant Kingdom fighting their own army. And their own little battle here. Ooh, we got his son. Um, well, we don't really need him. Um, so I will ransom him back to you. As for the other prisoners, uh, you can convert. You can convert. And you can recruit, convert, recruit, and become a monk. Let's see, daughter here who is diplomacy focus. Um, oh, she's getting a bad thing. Either way, I guess arbitrary. And there we go. Got our county, and this goes directly over to the Duke of Schleswig, Tostig. Cool. We're out of debt. We are looking good. Um, useful vigor. Let's check after that war. We probably have a few people who are widowed. Um, let's see. Uh, actually, that's, that's not a bad one right there. So let's do that. Actually, just the one. All right. And then I'm also going to hold court after our successful war there for Denmark. 
Why not? Let's do a little hold court. So let's see. I'm at the end of my tether. My nephew Duke Toastig, the Duke of Schleswig, who we just gave land to. These people are an uncontrollable mob. I see. Um... Yeah, I don't want to spend money on that. So, you can lose a bit of opinion. He already loves me because I've given him so much land. A peasant comes saying we've been blessed. He wants me to sponsor the cult of a local saint who recently died. He says this guy, this inapathetic, ugly eunuch, <laughs> was a miracle maker in life, known, only, known for only eating wild berries and preaching to the birds. Uh, yeah, eradicate this blasphemous nonsense, please. <laughs> and my vassal, a republic, a barony vassal. The dogs of Southampton think they are better than us. Oh, so it's a dispute between cities. Yeah, you waste my time with petty disputes. I don't care about those. <laughs> and there we go. Nice little hold court. And let's get a building down if we can. Can we do anything in Winchester that I would like? Well, I'm focusing on money buildings right now. And we have all the ones built there. This place could use walls and towers though, so let's do that. Sixty-five percent. Okay. Well, oh, didn't get it. That's fine. Chances are 100, so. Public works. Yeah, I'm still on royal prerogative, just because I want that high crown authority. So my vassals will stop fighting each other. We should probably also go for whales at some point. That'll probably be a good idea. We've already got half of it. We might as well clean it up, you know. But I think I'm more focused on Scandinavia, trying to form the High Kingdom of the North Sea. Uh, slightly starved. I'm going to try to trick her <laughs> into thinking that I did it. No one uncovers the ruse. Nice. So I was planning to kill my court tailor, Helga. You know, that is what it is. <laughs> Doesn't really sound like my problem. It's crazy because I've gotten three daughters in a row who are all <laughs> intelligent, but they're daughters. So, like, since I have an elective, it's going to be hard for them to win. And there we go. So that's another chance at hopefully a son. Yep. Great. I'll just chastise him for his failure. Love when you get an event where you're getting stressed no matter what you do. That's always a fun time. Also, just notice the capital of the Kingdom of Scotland is in Ireland. That's kind of weird. That doesn't really make much sense. Scotland got booted out real hard. Okay, well, I don't want to have a critical mental break. I'll just let them be. Uh, what is happening here? My vassal, Duke Eildmund of Gilland, had an affair with his lover. Okay. I'll just ransom her back to him. <laughs> I should have done a favor, actually, because I could have altered his uh, feudal contract with a favor. So that was kind of that was uh, subpar play there. Yeah, I think we'll be able to pretty easily beat the Scandinavian kingdoms that we have to fight coming up. How long has these two these two wars have been going on for so long? Nine years, eight years. They've been going on literally the whole episode. <laughs> These two wars that my allies called me to. I'm not actually going to help because I don't care that much. Alright, we'll take that Pope money though. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to lose the 35 prestige. I love shy. It's such a fun trait. Just stress for everything. Yeah, let's upgrade a trade port. Love trade ports. Very good buildings. Get those wherever you can, for sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Henry VIII so hard right now? How is this happening? What are the odds on this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's like flipping a coin and getting the same result seven times in a row. By all accounts, it doesn't make any sense. When I'm being raided, huh? Okay. Uh, let me not do that. Let's, let's not get raided, please. See, the problem is, even if I have a son at this point, like, <laughs> he's gonna be a child by the time I die. Like, he's still gonna be a child when I die. <laughs> and the child's not gonna win the elective either. Just need to get back on swaying electors. Really, none of them are gonna vote. It's minus 150. <laughs> Jesus. Well, this really isn't good, is it? <laughs> Can I destroy the elective? <laughs> I could remove the Saxon elective law. That might end up being what we have to do. Um, actually, you know what? I, I never take the stay here with me instead of it, but I need it. <laughs> I need it. I need to have a son. <laughs> like, this is insane. I need one. Uh, diplomacy focus contents good. Doesn't give direct diplomacy, but it gives plus opinion. So. What's going on here? I think it's just an internal war. Yeah. One war is finally over. This is just insane. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to say. I just need. Do I need to get another divorce? Okay, the Pope won't even accept it. Surely the Pope should be conscious of the fact that I'm struggling here, right? Like, <laughs> I'm gonna need to switch my focus. The family. I need to do it. Like, <laughs> I need, I need more, <laughs> more kids. I need a son. Like, I'm dying over here. This really isn't good. <laughs> this is really bad. Can add something to our culture. What do I want to add? Equal inheritance, but that won't actually affect the elective. Um, I'd want something that you know make good sense. Um, With like what we've done so far in this game. I don't know what probably something in warfare. <laughs> Honestly. We've been uh Longbowmen would be good. English longbowmen were pretty renowned, but those are English longbowmen, not Anglo Saxon longbowmen. That's actually a good point. <laughs> I could get warrior priests because I've been <laughs> turning all those uh <laughs> Vikings into um, into knights and making them take the vows and become a monk. Martial admiration wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be bad either. I think I'm gonna take. <laughs> The warrior priests. I think that fits what we've well. Maybe we'll do that one later. No, I, I think I want I think I want martial admiration stuff. I think that fits really well with what we've been doing throughout this game. And I think that's a good place to end this episode. So the suspense continues. Will I have a son or will succession die? Honestly it would make for an interesting turn of events if I, you know, 
had succession hit and didn't get the kingdom title. I could get it back. It wouldn't be like a game over or anything. But that would be an interesting turn of events. But yeah, hope you enjoy and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. 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 B